the complications are related to the procedures. So depending which procedures we, uh, we're looking at. Uh, in general, according to very recent uh, analysis of, of quality data, it seems like bleeding, postoperative or intraoperative bleeding, seems to be uh, one of the leading complications. Uh, more importantly, that, that bleeding complications is one of the leading cause uh, for readmission patients to the hospital, placing them in intensive care unit, or even reoperation. Now, procedures related complications might be very, very different depending on which procedures. Now, some of those procedures, like intragastric balloon, they have different sets of complications. For example, sometimes they, they, uh, they might cause um, um, ulceration of the stomach or even perforation or some other surgical complications. Uh, procedures which involve stapling the stomach might cause bleeding, uh, leakage, uh, infections, or some others. So depending which, which procedures, there's variety of those operations these days. Um, some have very, very specific, uh, and the book actually covers those procedures specifically separately. We created a chapter looking at specific procedures, uh, profile, safety profile complications. The venous thromboembolism is, is really one of the most serious problems in, in bariatric surgery for two reasons. Uh, number one is still leading cause of mortality, dying patients after this procedure. Uh, and second uh, problem with this, uh, according to recent uh, analysis, recent data, that might happen later after patients go to the uh, home being discharged from the hospital. Actually about 80% of those problems, they, they happen later. The problem with this uh, is uh, we still don't know for sure what's the best way uh, to uh, prevent. Um, we typically give patients heparin and other medications, uh, but still um, there is no certain dose, certain timing. Um, there is more data currently, and one of the chapters of the book covers these problems really, really uh, well in, in great details, including the very recent data from, uh, from research. But, but truly, um, these complications uh, is, I would, I would call it a silent enemy. You know, there's no symptoms, no, nothing the patient can feel. It just happens uh, out of the blue sometimes. So for surgeons, it's very important first to know which patients are at risk. Uh, second, uh, they need to know uh, how to um, uh, prevent this, what to give the patient, and when.